And we're back. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to Swagbucks Live. We have returned. We're waiting for people to load in. We had a real fun second chance week last week. I know a lot of you were playing, and I hope that you all have a bunch of rejoins left over. I hope you barely had to use any last week. I hope you have a bunch stored up now. It is so nice to be here with all of you. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Did anybody watch SummerSlam? I saw it. Thought it was great. I love the main event. Some people thought it was too much. I say a tractor lifting the ring up off the ground and holding it there. That is just enough for me. That's just perfect for me. I also hope that the weather is is good wherever you are. I know a lot of people are going through some extreme heat right now. So stay indoors if that's you. Stay in your air conditioning if you can. Make sure you have water. Make sure you have shade. Make sure you have a hat, sunscreen, anything you need to stay cool. Make sure that you are doing it. Lord, I, I sure hope you are. We are going to have such a good time. We have almost made it to the very beginning of the game. we got about 45 seconds left to go. So everybody relax. And anybody, I, I know you're trying to figure out, we have these great new backgrounds made by the design team. Each one of them a tribute to a different classic game show. I'm not sure if anybody got this one yet, but I can tell you right now, that this is not Hollywood Squares. It is Tic Tac Doe. I think I think one of the ones that was hosted by I think Wink Martindale might have hosted that. Maybe John Davidson did. But it is a classic late seventies game show that now we get to bring back here. It is not Hollywood Square. It is love Tic Tac. See, you know Tic Tac Doe. Some of you know it. Some of you love it. Maybe we'll do a Hollywood Squares one another time. We do have some we haven't revealed yet, but. That will come in good time. You know, not only is it the first day of August, but it's also Spider-Man Day. And we are here with your friendly neighborhood, Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. And at the chill of night, memories you'll devise like a streak of light. You'll chase down this grand prize. A thousand bucks, a thousand bucks. And when you correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice questions about anything and everything, you will win your share of it. In this game, you will also earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one. And that's the case even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you're eliminated from grand prize contention, you will need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. And that's as simple as clicking a button that appears at the end of the game. Now, if you win a piece of the grand prize today... You won't have to claim anything. The bonus SBU earn will be rolled into your share of that $1,000 grand prize. Again, I remind you, if you get eliminated from grand prize contention, I know it's frustrating, but the worst thing you can do in that moment is just leave because you're going to forfeit all the bonus SB you've already earned. You won't get it to earn any of the bonus SB that are coming up later on. It's just a bad deal all around. Stick around. It is not that long of a game. Now, the comments, they are swinging out of here. Thwip! So we can begin spinning the web of this game right now. Here is question number one. What is Nike's slogan? Is it just do it, just did it, or won't do that? What is Nike's slogan? I have the Spider-Man theme just stuck in my head now. A groundbreaking company almost from the start, Nike took time to build itself into a huge brand. In 1987, their identity took a big step forward with the introduction of Just Do It as a slogan. That's right, Just Do It, as in Just Play the Game and Have Fun, which you are doing, 99% of you getting that one right. Well done. We are starting this out with almost 29,000 people in grand prize contention. I think we're going to hit that number with our rejoiners. Not only the few of you who didn't get it right, but some of our latecomers are using a rejoin to bring themselves into the game and be able to, to compete for our grand prize, even though they missed the first question. See, it's another way you can use your rejoin. I don't prefer that because you might get one wrong later. Why come in and immediately have to use your rejoin? But we have over 30,000 people playing the game right now. And I have to say... Of all the people who rejoined, the majority of them, almost 99.9% .9 of them, did it using a free rejoin. So, showing up during Second Chance Week pays off. For now, every question you get right will earn you one bonus SB. Let's start that off right now with question number two. 
The stock market crash led to what era in American history? Is it the Gilded Age, the Great Depression, or the Baby Boom? Stock market crashed, and then this era, that was the beginning of this era, basically, you could say. The entire economy was thrown into a tailspin, with people going broke in an instant and leading to a 10-year period that we hope never happens again. The Great Depression is the answer. The Great Depression, 97% of you getting that one right. The Baby Boom you could say that was more uh, that was more precipitated by World War II. All the soldiers coming home, ready to make a family, and uh, so many families were made. My father is a baby boomer, and I bet some of you have parents who are baby boomers. Maybe we have some baby boomers playing the game. All boomers are welcome. Okay, when I say okay, boomer, I mean you're okay, boomer. I'm happy to know you. Let's move on to question number three. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. In his famous song, John Bon Jovi is living on a what? Is it tugboat, a prayer, or a cloud? I wish this was question five, because then you would be halfway there. Tommy and Gina are living through some tough times in this song, but their love and dreams keep them going as they're living on a prayer. That's right. Living on a prayer. Take my hand and I'll make it I swear. I don't know the words to any song. I will always get lyrics wrong. That is my promise to you, the Swagbucks Live player. Let's move on to question number four worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What food substance is created by bees? Is it honey, caramel, or pizza pockets? What food substance, substance is created by bees? We may run in terror when they buzz near us. Nobody wants to be stung, right? Some of us are allergic, but bees are an important contributor to the ecosystem, and they create a delicious natural food. Great source of protein. We call it honey. Honey, yes, ho, oh, honey. Nom, nom, nom. That's my Winnie the Pooh impression. Not great, but you get it. Almost everybody playing got that one right. Well done. You are crushing this Monday game, and I think we can move on now to question number five worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What is the name of the antagonists in the original Karate Kid? Are they the Snake Dojo, Cobra Kai, or the Vipers? <laughs> We're the bad guys in the Karate Kid. Strike hard, strike first, no mercy, sir. That's the philosophy of this martial arts bully factory run by veteran John Kreese, who returned for the Netflix series we all love, named after Cobra Kai. That's right, Cobra Kai, do or die. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. They are the villains of the first and the third. A and they're sort of the villains and the heroes of, of Cobra Kai, the series. It's a fantastic series. I love it. The more ridiculous it gets, the more on board I am. Give it to me. I love it. Only 10% of you getting that one wrong, and that is okay. Almost all of you coming back in. At this point, we are halfway done the game. We still have over 26,000 people in grand prize contention. Over 30,000 of you playing along, and we are on to question number six. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What game has a seventh inning stretch? Is it baseball, cricket, or bowling? The seventh inning stretch is specific to one sport. Which one is it? In 1910, then-President William Howard Taft was attending a game and stood up to stretch in the middle of the seventh inning, and everyone else stood out of respect, thinking he was leaving. But he wasn't. He was actually starting a new baseball tradition. The seventh inning stretch happens in baseball. That's when we sing, take me out to the ball game. That's right. Well done. 97% of you getting that one right. Again, you continue to just destroy this game. I love to see it. Tear it down like Seth Rollins. Here we go. Question number seven on the way worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What determines the climate of a particular area? Is it its latitude, its soil, or its gravity? Which one of these is a determinant in the climate of a particular area? The reason why some places are tropical, why others get snow year-round, is related to a region's placement in relation to the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, which are circles of latitude. Latitude is the answer. We got an attitude to get latitude. That is right. 94% of you getting that one right. Well done. Of the 6% of you who are eliminated already, 
two-thirds of you jumping right back in. That number continues to climb. Tons of people chasing the dough, over 25,000 of them to be exact. And the rest of you sticking around to earn bonus SP. That is what I like to see. We are on to question number eight now. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is Q8. Which of these card games uses a special deck of cards? Is it phase 10, bridge, or poker? Two of these card games can be played with a standard deck of cards. One of them requires its own special deck of cards. Which one is it? This game, in which you have to try and complete different card configurations before your opponents, requires more and different cards than a standard deck. Phase 10 is its own thing. Fun for the whole family. That's right. Phase 10 is the answer. 67% of you getting that one right. Well done. Yeah, you cannot play Phase 10 with a standard deck of cards but you can play bridge and you can play poker. For those of you who are answered either of those, you might be thinking of Pinochle. A Pinochle deck is different than a standard deck, but bridge and poker, I've played both extensively. I was in a bridge club in high school, just so you know how cool I was. And we played with a standard deck of cards because you can do that. So there you go. Our toughest one yet, 20, there 33% of you eliminated, but already most of you coming back in, over 80%, moving to 90% of you in grand prize contention. That is over... 28 or 22,000 coming up on 23,000 people in grand prize contention. I think once we hit that, we can move on. Only two questions remaining in this game. The rest of you keep sticking around. All right, here we go. Question number nine incoming worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here it is. Who wrote the Lord of the Rings books? Was it Piers Anthony, Terry Brooks, or J.R.R. Tolkien? Who was the author of the Lord of the Rings books? and The Hobbit, and The Cimmerillion. He's one of, if not the most influential fantasy writers in history, and the rich world of Middle-earth that he built is still wildly popular today. There's all oh, Amazon Prime series coming. J.R.R. Tolkien, of course, is the answer. 22,354 people have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. But before we get to that final question... Get the fluoride toothpaste that helps your child build good brushing habits with Fun Pals. Oragel fluoride toothpaste protects against cavities, strengthens teeth, and helps keep gums healthy. Over 99% naturally sourced ingredients with natural fruity bubble flavor. Tastes great to help your child transition to fluoride toothpaste. That's a big step, and it can earn you SB. Here's how. Add Origel Kids to your list of magic receipts. Then buy one tube of Origel Kids toothpaste in store at Walmart or online at walmart.com for delivery or pickup, doesn't matter, and earn 50 SB when you upload a copy of your receipt as proof of purchase. Buy two on the same receipt and earn 200 SB. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity, but please check it out after the game, which is about to end. We have 22,604 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. We have over 30,000 people who have stuck around till the very end, and there's one more bonus SB up for grabs right now if you can correctly answer question number 10. Here it is. Jim Carrey spent eight and a half hours in makeup to transform into which character? Is it the Grinch, the Cable Guy, or Ace Ventura Pet Detective? All great Jim Carrey roles. Only one of them required eight and a half hours of makeup. He had to use military breathing and pain tolerance techniques just to get through the application. Then... He had to go be the Grinch on a set for several hours at a time. I'd be grumpy too. 99% of you getting that one right. That means 22,147 people knew that one and are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to each and every one of you taking home 5 SB in grand prize money plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Blades02, you are a winner. Frank Puerta.